Okay, so in this video, we are taking another look at the Apple iPad 9th generation here after about a year and a half. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, if you are in the market currently for a budget iPad, forget about the iPad 10. This is the one to go for. The iPad 9 is still a beast. And if you don't mind, you know, like I always say, if you don't mind the legacy look there, the thick bezel at the bottom and at the top there, go for this guy here. There's no need to go for the iPad 10. That said, I'm not saying that the iPad 10 is, you know, absolutely useless. I personally think that you get more value out of the iPad 9. You get more value out of here as opposed to the iPad 10. So if you are currently looking for a budget iPad that can satisfy a number of just basic needs, you know, your day-to-day -day operation, navigating the internet, checking your emails and all that good stuff, to all the way to performance, meaning let's say you editing videos or working on heavy projects, the iPad 9 is surprisingly good at handling projects. GPU performance here, it's top notch. So even playing games here is very, very good. So for the money, given how much it's priced at right now and you know some other places or some retailers, aside from Apple, of course, it is good value. Currently, if you were to go to Walmart, you can pick this guy up for 270 bucks, I believe. As of today, I will make sure that I have some links in the description. These are gonna be dynamic links. So they will route you to Walmart if that's the cheapest place or if that's the cheapest price currently available. If Walmart is not the cheapest, it's gonna route you to, you know, whatever place has the cheapest price available for this tablet, whether it's Target or Best Buy or even Apple, it will route you there. So make sure to check out the links that I have in the description there. But anyway, so just to tell you how good this tablet is, and I'm not saying it's the best tablet out there, I'm just saying because it's good, value, it provides good value, it's a good budget tablet, actually sold pretty well, so much so that Apple still has this tablet listed on the Apple website. Now, if you were to go through Apple, that will cost you the original price of $330 as of today, as of the shooting of this video. I just checked and it was $330 there, and then other places have this at like $270, $280, $290, and so forth. And again, even at $280, I still think for an iPad, it's still good value because you have to remember, Apple supports these tablets for a while. They support their device for, you know, for up to even pretty close to six years, right? So this guy's supposed to see five years of support and we are only about a year and a half in. So if you were to pick up this guy here, you still have a good three, you know, three to three and a half years to go for this until Apple, you know, decides to stop supporting the tablet here. Again, if you don't mind the old look, I don't want to call it the old, it's more the legacy look, right? So just the look that they had on some of their previous generation, you know, previous gen mobile devices. If you don't mind that look, go for this tablet here. Now that I'm done with my personal take on this tablet here on the iPad 9 here, let's go ahead and move forward with the video. So what you're looking at here is an IPS display, 10.2 inches IPS display. The resolution here is 1620 by 2160. So PPI here is actually pretty dense. You're looking at 265, 265 PPI. And that, you know, leads to a pretty sharp image quality. I would say that colors are very well pronounced here. They're vibrant, they look good. It's nice, you know, for watching movies and things like that. The only problem, of course, which I've always brought up when I covered this tablet is the fact that, you know, it's a non-laminated display, right? So for me, you know, personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. It kind of bothers me to see that little gap, right? Between the top part of the display and the actual display below. But most people, you know, a lot of people out there, they don't really care for it, right? So you just need to be aware that this is a non-laminated display. And funny enough, it actually translate into, you know, less money spent if something were to happen to that display, right? So the cost of repairs are less when you have a non-laminated display like this one here, because all they have to do is just pop this top part off and then put, put on a new part as opposed to replacing the whole display if it was at the top, like, you know, most tablets do today. So if you think about it, because it's a budget tablet, also make sure that when it comes down to repairing, so the cost of repair would also be budget. So it's a good thing. But like I said, user experience wise, me personally, I'm used, I have a wide range of tablets here and the vast majority actually only have two tablets that are non-laminated or that have non-laminated display, this being one of them and the iPad 10 being the other one. Otherwise, all of the other tablets have laminated displays that I own here. So anytime I go from something like that 
to a 9mm display, I always, you know, it kind of bothers me. But anyway, so other than that, it's a really nice tablet if you want to use it, you know, for gaming or for watching movies and gaming. Gaming, because the display, like I mentioned earlier, based off that resolution and the specs that I gave, is really nice. It looks good, right? And not only that, performance is also good because this guy here is loaded with Apple Silicon, right? This is loaded with an A13 Bionic chip, which again comes with improved even GPU performance, right? So when it, again, gaming, video editing, I've actually edited a couple of videos here. Very impressive, right? I can actually see some content creators using this tablet here, you know, to do their content creation, you know, editing their video, you know, shooting, maybe not shooting, shooting the videos, and of course, editing their videos here, and then uploading on YouTube or different social medias, right? So this is a nice pickup for that stuff. It's also loaded with three gigs of RAM. This unit here is a 64 gigs of internal storage, but unfortunately, of course, as always, this is not expandable right so you cannot expand that internal storage if you buy this with 64 gigs that would be what you are stuck with unless of course you have you know access to cloud storage let's say you're paying for it then you can you you could do it that way or if you have a portable external storage that you carry with you you can also you know some people i know some people who prefer to do that this is also eligible with the first you know generation apple pencil right so it supports that first gen apple pencil it works well i'm not a big fan of apple pencils because you know the plastic the tapping sound you know, I just don't like it affects my user experience, but I know a lot of people who praise them. You know, I own both, you know, the first and the second gen. The second gen Apple Pencil has a softer tip, right? Still, it still does tap, but it definitely works well. Right? It's very responsive. Of course, you have a few features attached to the pencil, so you can use that to take down notes, you know, write stuff up. I know some people who, some professionals who actually prefer Apple Pencils, but the majority of professionals that I know prefer, you know, other styluses as opposed to Apple Pencil. What I have currently running here is iPad OS 16, which actually is pretty good. You know, it comes with improved, you know, even multitasking, but still not to the level of what you would find on the Sony Samsung DeX, for example, right? Because Samsung DeX is more of something that tries to mimic, you know, a computer as opposed to offering just a simple multitasking experience. So you do have some level of multitasking that you can do here, but not to the extent of what we've seen, you know, some of the tablets out there bring. But it's good to see that here. Now, I won't spend a lot of time on this particular tablet. It was just me trying to share what it's been like using this tablet here, right? Everything remains the same. I still have my favorite, you know, Touch ID there, one of my favorite features that Apple ever came up with. But anyway, so after using this tablet here for about a year and a half, it's still a very nice pickup. And I know I, you know, introduced the video. I started the intro of the video with that. It is definitely a nice pickup. This is something that I still recommend, you know, especially those currently in the market for the iPad 10th gen, right? Because remember the iPad 10th gen, sure it comes with a redesign, you know, a revamped look, you know, a redesigned look of the iPad line, but it still supports the first gen Apple Pencil. And not only that, you have to connect an adapter in order to be able to, you know, connect it to it's a whole thing there and i figure if you're gonna go for the ipad 10 why don't you just go for the ipad air or if you're just looking for something that's going to offer you value this is the best value and this is not to put down those of you who already bought the ipad 10 if you already bought it's a nice tablet by the way it's a nice tablet i personally just felt the price just doesn't match what it has to offer, right? I just feel like you get a bit more if you were to just go for the iPad Air 5, but that's just my take and I digress there. <laughs> The iPad 9 is still a nice pickup, even after a year and a half. Battery is still pretty good. You have a 7,400, I don't remember what the battery size is, but it's a pretty decent sized battery for something like this. Battery is still pretty good on here. So even after a year and a half, you should expect battery to still be good. I can't tell you exactly how well battery will do for you because it's gonna be subjective based off of what you use your, you know, your tablet for, what you do on your tablet and all that good stuff. And given that I don't know your type of usage i can only tell you that battery is good and if you maintain your tablet well it will last a long time that's just my take on the ipad 9 here let me know what any questions you may have or anything that you would like to share about this tablet make sure you are subscribed to the channel of course make sure to share this video if you know anyone who will be interested i will catch you in the comment section like i always do i'm also going to catch you in the next video up until that next video of course as always stay safe out there